Hi, welcome back. Oops. Um, while you were away, I uh, completed the other black cable. And of course, these two cables now need to be uh, routed. Now, the thing to do is that each time you take a cable off, or in this case, there was two together, which allowed me to do two cables, before you do anything else, put them back where they were. Um, if you move on and you do another cable, it's really easy to forget where things go and then it's an absolute complete nightmare. So the rule is, if you take something off, you put it back. And don't be tempted to take a whole pile of things off thinking that you'll know exactly where they go. <laughs> because, believe you me, uh, you won't. Right, so what I need to do is to turn our little fella around the way that we want him. Just move his arms. Here we go. And, um, okay, so we've got these two wires. Now one of the things you can do is kind of twist them together a little bit. Um, just so that they stay together and are easier to thread. But don't do it too much because otherwise they could snag later on. So what I need to do now is to feed these two cables. Notice I haven't done the ends. Um, don't do them yet. And I need to feed them back through where they came from. Which is, can be a bit tricky. So you're trying to find a hole where there's lots and lots and lots of cables in here. So finding a way through can be a bit of a a bit of a task. Let me see. Okay, I've managed to get it. So I'll feed that one through and now I'll do this one. Sometimes slightly curving the cable can help. And try and get it to follow the other cable through. And there we have it. I have two cables through. Make sure they're not snagged on anything. Um, now don't be attempt, uh, don't attempt to pull them all the way through, because um, that's not what you need. Okay, I'll just move the robot round so you can see it. You'll note that I've disconnected the electrics on the arms. They're just hanging by these uh, springs that they're supposed to. Um, if you leave those cables on, then rocking it backwards and forwards, um, you can end up. Uh, snapping it off. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to tidy up this mess that I've made down here. So I'll take my solder sucker, make sure it's sucking, and then get some solder on the soldering iron. And then I need to heat this area up here and make it into a nice clean plate and also get the temperature up. God. There's such old solder on here. <laughs> you can smell the flux. Come on you. Oh, what a mess. The thing is as you put new solder on, it'll shine up nicely. Okay, so that's nice and shiny. But the old solder dropped out, so let's get that out of there because we don't want that falling around inside and causing a short uh, later stage. So now I'll just grab these two cables, use my wire snips, snip off a piece, and snip off another piece, make sure they're roughly the same size. Yeah, it's amazing how accurate you get at doing this after a while. Now twist those two together. Nice and tight. Bring my solder out where I can see it. And solder on the tip. And then I want to put loads and loads and loads of solder on these wires. Again, both sides of the wire 
can then just keep ladling it on there. Okay, so I've got a nice big blob. I'm just going to snip that end off where it's got a sharp tip. Now what I'm going to do is add a bit more solder here. And put the wire on the top and then push the two together. Now because I, I put lots of solder on both places, what will happen is it will pool into a lake like that and then a great joint. Okay, so that's two of the wires done. Um, only about another nine or so to do. So we're spinning back round nice and gently. And the next thing we've got are the two reds. Um, so I'm looking at the wrong bit. This is two red ones here. Um, tracing these is going to be a bit difficult. Um, um, luckily I did the same on the other side and you'll notice on the other side that there's two reds attaching to a capacitor and in fact they're using the same reds on this side too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip one of these wires off okay so leave plenty Let make sure I do what I say I'm gonna do okay so where are my pliers swap them over and the next one is this one so here we go just break all that red stuff off it's all off and then spin that cable okay I'm just going to solder that bit there now making sure I've still got the right one that I want to work on I'm now going to snip that where, I, where I've got it, which is here. Okay, and now I'm just going to follow this cable now. It's a bit messy. Just follow the one cable. Where is it? It's over here. Pull it through. So this is incredibly fiddly process. And uh, we'll be patient. A number of my fixed it tracks have a track called Patience Pays. Which some people complain about because it's a bit slow and nothing much seems to happen um, but you kind of miss the point because the idea is that patience pays the original track is about 27 minutes and is very very relaxing particularly if you can't sleep and um, but the idea is be as patient as you can because any attempt to rush at this stage it will just end up costing you a lot more time and effort later you know if I was to yank these cables through violently um, then I'd end up snapping a whole pile and it would be a complete and utter nightmare okay so I've traced that red cable and it now turns out that that red cable, surprise, surprise, goes to this horrible piece of gunk. So let me just turn, bring that closer. And 
turn that down. Let me just check that. Put my finger on it. Yeah, there we go, a bit closer still. Okay. So just as we add on the other side over here, we've got another pile of gunk. Again, don't be tempted to just grab a big pair of pliers and rip it off because you'll just end up destroying everything. And what you want to do is just gently pick away at it. And it should come off quite easily. As I say, they seem to have used some sort of modelling wax rather than glue here, which is good because glue's a complete pain. Aha. Right, so. Should I get that? Yeah, so there we have. This is a weird stuff. And a resin. Um, so we got that big chunk off. And now I'll pick away at these other bits. I also have to be careful because some of these cables are perfectly okay. They haven't been done with this horrible brittle rubbish and um, what I don't want to do is end up damaging them and causing them to short out so again patience pays right gently lift that and then see if I can get that big blob out of there okay and now we've got some more there's another big blob there oh there we go Okay. We've now cleared that channel now, which is absolutely fantastic. Right, so this is the cable we're working with. And so let's just move that around. And what we note is that it comes to this log here on this side. So obviously the black was the negative and this is the positive. What's interesting is that they've decided to run two thin positive cables um, to get the uh, correct amperage rather than one thick cable. And I take it that's because the thick cable may have more torsion in it when it's moving and the robot's moving, it may jam things up whereas couple of small cables will do exactly the same job um, but um, it doesn't take up as much space in one place so okay as before big blob of solder on there okay and Okay, so there's the cables. Right, so I know that this one cable here um, came down from up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on um, with connecting those two together. And then hopefully this will all be complete. And once it's complete, I'll just wrap some tape around it for now. And at a later stage, I'll put some... Um, um, liquid plastic glue or something on there just to hold it in place although I do have a big chunk of beeswax so I might use that instead um, which is possibly what they've used um, no point in you watching me continue to do this you've seen me do one of these before so I'll sign off now and um, I'll be back around 11 tomorrow evening for half an hour and um, I'll show you what I've done but I may well have finished the rest of it by then uh, but if I do I'll make sure that I video um, one of these connections because these are the real mess this is really 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 disgusting and uh, I'll make sure I video that and post it hope you like the video thanks for watching bye